what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in this video video is going to be a little bit different this video is going to be a lot of me talking so this video is going to be for a lot of the long-term subscribers that have been watching my videos from the beginning i know a bunch of you guys have always been hitting me up saying that my car is your inspiration and it motivates you to do stuff to your car as well and i want to thank you guys for always showing love and support so in this video i'm going to share how did i become a car enthusiast with my 2011 agent honda civic si which i'm in the car right now you guys could probably see the mugen seats crazy uh sick mugen and recaro combination this seat is amazing feels amazing it holds your shoulders your side and your legs really good especially in the corners in my previous videos I have been talking about I want to give you guys value and share my experience with you guys. So like the title says, I'm going to be sharing how did I become a car enthusiast with my agent Honda Civic SI. Uh, for the people that want to see an install video and what's next for the channel, stay tuned for the next video. I have more, a bunch of content that I still have to drop. So definitely stay tuned. And guys, I have a bunch of parts for this car. It's gonna, the Type R, you guys are gonna see the big transformation very soon. I cannot wait to share the process with you guys. So I'm gonna start off the video with this. So I will say this, and I will say I'm the type of person that likes to read. It sparks my interest when I read things. So I guess if you like to read, you have to be interested in reading things if i guess per, to uh to put it in perspective but i'm gonna say that i'm the type of person who likes to read that find things interesting and i'm the type of person that pays attention to detail so um, i'm just gonna leave that in there at the beginning because it, it's all gonna make sense so in this video i'm gonna be dropping a lot of gems and jewels and you guys can apply this to your life as well so I know on my YouTube algorithm, there's a lot of younger people that watch my channel as well that I notice. So in this video, if you're trying to figure out what you want to do, I hope this video helps you a lot, give you a lot of value. You can apply this to your, your life and I hope it helps. So I'm going to take you guys all the way back, like probably high school. So all the way, I'm going to take you guys all the way back, starting in high school, when I was in high school. You guys might even see this video of this actually trending and this actually happened to me so i'm gonna take you guys all the way back to high school 11th grade so i was in high school 11th grade and i believe my senior year the next following year i was gonna i was looking to buy a car because uh next year the next following year i'm gonna have a half day of school right so at this point i never had a job before so my parents, my mom and dad, and they probably are gonna be watching this video and they probably don't even know this. So a lot of, so in this video, I'm gonna be, <laughs> so my parents don't even probably know this about me as well. And uh, probably a lot of close friends that I've met over the years probably don't even know this about me as well. And my parents probably uh, know some of the story as well. So my parents took me to where this place that was hiring for a job and I went inside, talked to the manager. The manager took down my information. I applied uh, to the look, I believe it was like a little kiosk at the job. I applied to it. They took down my name, whatever. The job called me back and I basically got the job, right? So I was 17 years old, finally got my first job. I was super excited to get the job. Super excited. So got my first job, super excited. And then I will say, I believe you get paid weekly at this job. So um, I started my first week at the job. I was doing everything. I was super excited to finally get a job. I was doing, I think I was working at a grocery store. I was getting the cards, bagging, uh, uh, stocking stuff for the whole week. Super excited, busting my butt. I was super excited. And then um, I finally got my check. And of course I had to go to go. I was at work already, so I had to go pick up my check. You guys probably seen this viral video that's going on right now. So. I got my check from my job. My parents came to pick me up and I was super excited, ran inside of the car 
and my mom because of course you didn't you when you first start a job you don't have a direct deposit so my mom told me go ahead and open up your check so i guys i was super excited went to go open up my check right and i opened up my check and look at the total and i'm gonna tell you guys the total but guys i was devastated i wasn't mad or upset i was just like in shock i was like in shock i was even like telling my mom I was like is this even is this right because i was like wait a minute is this right and she went to go look at my check and then she was like looking at it and she was like yeah this is uh correct and then she was like yeah you gotta also factor in the taxes and stuff so and i was like oh yeah that is true so i went back and looked at the taxes federal state blah 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 and guys my check was basically for two hundred dollars right my check was for two hundred dollars and i was in shock so i was standing there looking at the check have a jimmy neutron brain blast and i was just started thinking like how am i supposed to save up money like how long would i have to save up money of course to get the car how am i going to pay for the insurance how am i going to move out how am i going to get a place how am i going to pay for the water bill electric bill so all of this stuff started racing through my mind when i first got that check and i will gotta say guys that was probably my wake up call and i was like i definitely gotta take life serious and i was like i gotta do something about it so that same uh viral video i recently seen that's going around right now was that happened to another kid i think he wanted to i think it was his first job <laughs> come on man yeah this first check first check ever in life boy we'll see what it do and wait wait we gotta say how much it is man see his face when you open it up man Wait, 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 Jojo. How does it feel opening up this first check, man? Oh, come on, Pop. Let just open it up. All right, man. All right, all right. What you, you need this? You really don't. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was expecting to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why your face like that, Jojo? It's probably the taxes. It's probably the taxes. <laughs> what you expect it more? Because you're 18. Jojo, what I'm you so expect it more? <laughs> Jojo, where you going? How much Oh, yeah, they took out taxes, Joe. Welcome oh. to the world. What? <laughs> Joe. Yeah. Where are you going, man? It's, it's a part of life. Oh, you mad? He, oh. Yeah, these are we went back and forth and blah 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 i was just happy to get a car so what i got was a 2010 i believe it was white tafita white honda civic lx so i got an automatic lx i was super happy to even just get a car so i was not even uh, complaining about what a car i have so i was super excited to get a car so as time goes by i believe um it was my senior year and i graduated from high school and then two, for me, two weeks later, after I graduated, had my graduation from high school, I went straight to college. Um, I wanted to uh, get school over with, so I didn't waste any time. And then, of course, I was driving the car up and down. And my dad is telling me, hey, have you been checking your oil? Have you been checking your coolant? Have you been checking your tire pressure? And I was like, coolant what do you i'm like coolant what is what is he talking about coolant so i think at this time i was still like 18 i just graduated i was going to college so everything was for me was happening like fast so he's telling me hey check your coolant check your make sure you check your oil make sure you check your psi and then i'm trying to like like what is coolant so guess what i do guys i go back on the internet and i start looking up all of this stuff so i started doing my research as i was reading i was learning a lot about the car and engine what does the coolant do so basically the coolant uh, uh sits in a radiator and then when the engine gets hot the radiator it opens up that the the thermostat opens up and it 
uh, pushes all the coolant and slits around the engine. So that's how it keeps the car cool. So I was like, oh man, this is pretty dope. And this, I'm like, this is pretty cool. I'm like, I never knew that. So I was like, so this is how the engine keeps cool. And then I started uh, looking up why does the car need oil? So the car needs oil. So all the components and gears and everything can have lubrication. So I was like, oh, okay, so that's why it's important to have to have oil in the car because over time that oil gets burned, et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, okay, so that's why you have to check your oil over time. And then I started doing research on the tire. Why is it important to have a uh, tire pressure in your tire? Over time, if the tire pressure is low, you will have uneven wear and you will have to get uh, tires sooner and it will affect the ride quality, et cetera, et cetera. All the stuff that I was educating myself on it started like i was saying i'm the type of person that likes to read it started sparking my interest more into the car and my dad kept bringing up hey what do you, do you th what do you think about the agent honda civic si he kept bringing up this agent honda civic si and i wasn't uh listening i wasn't looking at the car i really because of course i wasn't into cars at the time so when I started reading about the cars, guess what I did? I started looking up the Agent Honda Civic SI and I was like, all right, let me see what's so good about the I know that it was a manual, a six speed manual. I knew that about the cars. I went on the internet and I started Googling about the Agent Honda Civic SI. So when I started looking it up, it brought me to the forms. So I know a lot of you guys on here probably know what I'm talking about, the forms, the car form. There was Honda Tech, I was on there. So I was on Honda Tech and I was on the eight Civic forms. So I was on Honda Tech and it's kind of crazy that a lot of these aftermarket companies like Sheepy Race, I know you guys probably have seen Sheepy Race um, that makes, they make turbo kits for Hondas, Evos, and now they make turbo kits for uh, twin turbo Lamborghinis. Sheepy Race, Skunk 2, a lot of these big companies now started on car forms before there was YouTube. A lot of uh, big car enthusiasts started on the forums where they would just take pictures of cars and they could post it on the uh, threads and stuff like that. So I started on Honda Tech and I, I started uh, reading a lot more about the cars. So I was on Honda Tech for a little bit and then I also checked out A Civic forms. So this is where it kind of all started. I was on the A Civic forums and I went to the journal builds and I saw this red Agen Honda Civic Si with the same kit that I have on my car now. So it was a red Agen Honda Civic Si. It had the uh, HFP front lip, the Mugen side skirts, it had the Mugen rear wing and the Mugen rear lip as well. So I seen that car and it was lowered on the Mugen GPs and it was low, lowered on BC coilovers. And I think I think it was either BC coilovers or I forgot the other one. There's a, it was like red, blue, and gray. I forgot the name of it. it were, I'll, I'll put it in the video. So it was lowered on coilovers. It had the Mugen GPs. It was sitting right. And I was like, whoa, this looks sick. I love the way that it looked. Like again, I didn't know nothing about cars. I was like, how did he lower the car? What kind of wing is that? Like, what's why does this car have the like the wing on it? But I just like the overall look of it. And it's kind of funny, guys, that the guy who has that red agent Honda Civic aside that I first saw, his name is Lee. And I actually bought the his Mugen GPs, the same Mugen GPs that I have for my car. I bought it from him. So wow, right? That whole that first time I seen that picture to I guess starting my build to wanting those wheels, I actually bought it from him the same pictures that I saw, which is I think it's crazy. So I talked to Lee all the time. He actually helped me with installing some of the Mugen parts that I have on my AJ Honda Civic SI and I bought the Mugen GPs from him. So that is a mind blown to think of and go back to right now so i went to my dad and i was basically like look i've been looking at the agent honda civic si and i saw this red one i was like man this looks pretty sick i was like this looks nice and he was he, he was looking at the picture and he was like yeah it looks 
it looks nice so he was like oh i see that you've been looking at the agent honda civic aside and i was like yeah i mean it looks dope so i started looking into more of the car so um i looked i was looking at other videos and they were talking about vtech and i was like what is vtech and then i seen all the little videos of um fast and the furious where the guy with the s2000 and he was like vtech just kicked in yo and the car just like like start speeding up and then dusted the other car so and then I, I started looking at other videos of people driving the car and i was like okay so vtech is like kind of like nitrous but it has like a certain period in the rpms where it kicks in and the car just starts pulling 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 and then one thing special about this car i noticed was the long long range rpms so you have a long range to for the car to um rev out so i was like that's pretty dope that the car kind of has like this like nitrous feel and throws you back in your chair and the car just keeps pulling so i was like that's pretty neat and then i started looking at another video and this video and i saw the engine and everything i looked at the whole review and then i saw another video but it was like a honda civic hatch against like a mustang on a drag strip and guess what i saw the honda civic smoke the mustang and i was like wait how did this like 200 horsepower car smoke the mustang they showed the the picture of the engine of the car in the video and showed that it was turbo and it had the same motor as the si so i was like wait a minute so i started doing more research on the car and there was another video in there and it showed that the car made 500 horsepower and i was like how did this car make 500 horsepower with the turbo and i started doing more and more research and i saw that this car had potential so i started reading more about this motor and it could make some incredible power out of a four cylinder and it could make some crazy power and the car is also lightweight so that's what helps it as well so this car can beat a lot of um fast expensive cars that you could just buy so i was like wow that is that is amazing i'm like that is pretty sick so i started writing down um the list of stuff that i would do to the car the hfp front lip the mugen side skirts the the mugen wing the mugen rear lip and then i started putting the price next to the parts so i was like oh my god a lot of this stuff is expensive so all i did was basically just look up the parts and wrote down the price the cheapest price that i could find next to them so i was looking at all the price the whole price and i told it everything up and i was like yo how are these people able to afford these parts to put on their car like, especially the mugen parts so i'm gonna tell you guys about the mugen parts so if you guys don't know the Mugen Parts is off of a 2008 Honda Civic Mugen SI limited edition version that they made. And they made one out of a thousand Mugens in the whole world. But looking up the Mugen Parts and seeing the price for some of these parts, I was like, oh my God, how do people afford to do all of this stuff to their car? So after finding out the price for the Mugen Parts, I'm like, man, this is super expensive and i was like is there another alternative so they do have like replica mugen parts they look kind of weird in pictures they don't fit good um the mugen parts are plug and play you should not have no issues with them of course you do have to repaint it for your car etc etc so knowing that i was like damn that sucks that these parts cost so much money right so i'm gonna tell you guys some of the parts so the Mugen wing that you guys could probably see behind me, the four piece wing with the third brake light that it comes with that little piece that uses the SI third brake light. So that wing alone is $1,200 without paint. So $1,200 without paint. The rear lip is 650. The side skirts are 250 a piece. So that's 500. So as you guys can see, the Mugen parts are expensive. These seats, the Mugen seats that I have in the car, the Mugen seats are $2,000. Yeah, for one seat. Yes, guys, it is expensive. Mugen parts are no joke. They're expensive. But it, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to it. So with that being said, um, I had 
my list. So I went to my dad, I was like, hey, I really like the Agent Honda Civic Asai. He said that if you wanna get one, um, you just gotta save up some more uh, money and then you could possibly get one, right? But you also need to learn how to drive a manual. So we had like a 1996 uh, Honda Civic EX. So he said that, hey, if I'm not driving a car, uh, he told me, he teach me the basics or whatever. And he said, hey, when you don't have time or you're not doing nothing, just go take the car and go practice driving. So that's what I did. I started practicing, learning, got a hang of it. Later down the road, um, I got a Honda Civic SI, right? So I was able to save up, get an agent Honda Civic SI, and I graduated that year. The next following year, right before my birthday, I actually bought the agent Honda Civic SI. So this is in a short time frame, guys. I bought the agent Honda Civic SI. So this was still in a short time frame. And so I copped the agent Honda Civic SI. I believe I was working two jobs at the same time and I was going to college. So I was working two jobs at the same time, busting my butt. I want to do this to the car. I want to basically um, learn how all of this stuff works. How does the, the, the four piece Mugen wing works? And the, I found out the wing is adjustable. So I wanted to know how that affects the ride quality of the car. Um, I wanted to know how the rear lip uh, fit on the back of the bumper. So at this point, guys, I was starting to fall in love with the process on how everything works. Because, of course, I never did this before. I started um, going back, trying to figure out how can... I be able to do everything that I want to do because at the point, of course, I was working two jobs and I believe I had to leave one of the jobs because they weren't working with my hours or whatever. So, of course, I'm going to stay with the job that's paying me the most money. <clears throat> so I started doing more research about um, what is it going to take? And then, of course, um, I found videos about Kobe Bryant, uh, the Mamba mentality, Michael Jordan, basically. A lot of the stories we're saying is going to take hard work, dedication, consistency, sacrifice, and it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to put the work in. One quote that really stuck out to me was, opportunities are in front of you every single day, but it's up to you to go after them. So I, as being about what, I think I was like 18 or 19 at that time, I'm like, what does that mean? Like, opportunities are in front of you every single day but it's up to you to go after so one day i was at work and i was thinking about that quote one of the managers came by and was like we had four people call out today and we were really trying to make quota this month we need to stock inventory we need to do a bunch of stuff and then I went to go talk to my manager i said hey i, I was hearing as you said that you need people to stay late uh, I was wondering if I could stay late. He said, hey, what time do you get off? He said, I'm going to uh, come back to you and let you know if you can stay late, stay late, right? So in probably like an hour or so, he said, hey, man, you can stay late until we close. Basically, guys, it comes down to this. You got to bring value to the workplace. But to bring value to the workplace, you got to bring a skill set. You got to bring some skill set. If you're good at uh, money, counting money, if you're good at down stocking. Uh, so after um, I worked that whole day uh, staying late at work and of course got the extra hours, guess what I did guys? You guys might be thinking I'm making this up or you guys might not even believe me, but what did I do the next day? As soon as the store uh, opened up, I called to see if I could come into work early. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? This guy, he's crazy. So I call to see if anybody called out so I could come in early to get more hours. So I did that every single day. Or even if I couldn't come in early, I would ask, hey, if I was working like a mid-shift, hey, can I stay till close? Can I wake up in the morning? Hey, can I come in early? Hey, can I stay till close? I'm not going to say, guys, it was easy. It was not easy, man. If my friends wanted to do something, I said, no, uh, I have to work, blah, 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 blah. I had to make that sacrifice. Whatever it took, I had to make that sacrifice because I wanted to achieve my goal and turn it into reality. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it wasn't easy. 
it was hard there came times where i was of course getting the hours and everything and there were those times that i wanted to give up it wasn't easy those times that i called my dad and was like uh i don't think i could do this anymore like i'm tired i i'm I, I wake up at 6, leave work at 10.30, and I go to work at 6 a.m. I leave, and I'm mind you, I'm going to college too. Uh, on a day, I'm not working on the days that I have college or whatever. So, mind you, I was tired, exhausted. I wanted to give up, and my dad was telling me, like, hey, man, like, of course this is not going to be easy if if this is easy everybody will be doing it and i was like okay that is true like if everyone uh was doing it you would see a lot of people with nice cars etc cetera, etc cetera. materialistic things don't last forever i knew how much this is going to cost if i'm going to do this and i'm going to do the build i'm going to do it right there was no rush for me to do everything that I want. I was gonna take my time and do it right the first time. I also said to myself, like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna blow all my money on doing all the stuff that I want to a car, right? So this whole time, basically, I'm just stacking a bunch of money and I'm probably buying like little things like that hundred dollars things. I think the first things that I actually did to this car was the Moog Advisors tent, um, I did the gold power three inch exhaust. All right guys, so my camera kind of like overheated, but I had an extra battery. So I'm gonna try to hurry up, finish up the story because I know the story is going on for a while now. So basically guys, there was times I wanted to give up, but what really motivated me was going back to those goals, constantly going back to my goals of what I wanted to do to the car or any type of goal that I had set. So. Every time that I would buy something, I would go back and check off that goal. And I would kind of like basically like eat, sleep, breathe uh, my goals. And that would be like my main focus. And I, I would have no distractions, busting my butt, making things happen. I was able to achieve my goal with the agent Honda Civic SI. And of course, I'm still not done with this car, but um, I'm definitely in a better place uh, right now. And I was able to share this experience with you guys as you guys saw when i first started youtube i had a, a list of parts i had the front lip the side skirts the mugen wear lip the mugen wing i had the jdm badges um i had the air suspension affect the sound too much but yeah guys so i got burnt out working so many hours it was just basically i was working way more hours and i was getting a lot less sleep so it took it took a toll on me so i said i have to do something i gotta uh work smarter not harder so then at that point guys um i basically uh took a step back um took care of myself and i started working in my uh, career field and that's like a whole nother story so if you guys want to hear about that story comment below but that's a whole different story so i basically at this point uh networked with a bunch of people from my school uh, went to a different job started moving up in my career and it was like like that and i applied the same thing one thing that helped me stay focused and not give up to was michael jordan one thing that he said was work ethic eliminates fear what type of opportunity was getting thrown at me i did not care i will take it so the fear was gone guys if you guys are conscious about hey i don't know if i should do this i don't know if i should do that if you put in the work guys when the opportunity comes you're gonna be like no problem sign me up i don't have no problem hey i want to be a manager sign me up so more of the story guys basically more of the story was setting the goal that i have for my agent honda civic si basically pushed me to level up to be able to do everything that i want to the car and push me to where i want to be in life today and i want you guys all to do this if you guys can today write a list of goals and go after those things every single day and go back check it off set the next goal check it off i don't care if you achieve all these goals in one month set new goals check it off and then see how far that takes you and where you end up so basically this car was definitely a life changer for me by just setting 
the goals that I have for this car push me to level up to get to a place I I probably couldn't even imagine where I'm at in life and uh, learn so much and find something that I am passionate about. So me basically doing everything to my car wasn't basically me just saying like, oh, oh I want to do this to the car because I think it looks cool or it looks nice. I wanted to do all the stuff to my car because I fell in love with the engineering of how everything works with a car. I started falling in love with the engineering and started creating a passion. I wanted to inspire you guys and motivate you guys and share this story with you guys to show that at the end of my videos, I always say, and you guys can probably relate to it now by the story. At the end of the video, I always say, find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen. So if you have the drive to educate yourself and you have the drive to take action, you can achieve anything. I remember another thing was they call Michael Jordan, they used to call Michael Jordan the black Jesus, right? You can also look at um, his like inspirational videos on YouTube as well. And it was calling uh, Michael Jordan the black Jesus because that he would never sleep. So they called him the black Jesus. Jesus uh, works seven days a week, seven days a week well i mean the seven days out of the week but they were saying basically like jesus worked six days out of the week and he sleeps on sunday so that goes to show you that if you want to achieve something you gotta put the work in if you put in the work in you will get results you have the drive to educate yourself and you have the drive to take action and you put in the work you will get results that's it for the video guys also i'm going to be starting my own brand slash clothing line i always wanted to do this but i just didn't want to bring out a brand or clothing line i wanted there to be a meaning behind it so i'm going to be starting my own clothing brand called find your inner drive and now you guys kind of have an idea about what it means about finding your inner drive. Basically, find your inner drive is what I've been saying at the end of my videos. Find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen at any cost. At any cost, if there's anything that you guys want to achieve, find that inner drive. I'm gonna post a link to the website below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to support the channel, cop the merch. Um, I'm gonna be sharing more stories at the end of each video, giving you guys value and sharing my experience on all the new videos that's coming up. Um, I definitely want to give back to you guys, but that's it guys. If there's anything that you guys want to achieve, find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen. Peace. <laughs>